Hey everyone, it's Marcello from the Toyota World YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the potential reality and fate for the 2025 Toyota RAV4 just ahead in this video. All right, so what am I talking about? Well, let's get started with what we already know and what's taken place up until now in the Toyota world. And by the way, you should subscribe to the best Toyota channel on YouTube, the Toyota world YouTube channel for constant cool videos and updates and news about your favorite Toyotas. Now let's carry on. So in the past six to eight months, it's been a very big year for Toyota and it's been a great window for Toyota. There's been a lot of new releases, updates, new models that came into the lineup. Starting with the all new Toyota Land Cruiser for 2024, that got introduced recently, very exciting. We've also seen a brand new generation of Toyota Tacoma for 2024. That's the non-hybrid and the hybrid. We just recently got news and updates about the all new redesigned 2025 Toyota 4Runner as well, which is very exciting. We're still gonna have the TRD Pro. We're gonna have the Trail Hunter as we currently have on the Toyota Tacoma. Also new to the lineup, we've got the Crown Signia, which is completely new, very exciting. And that's not all. We even have a brand new generation 2025 Toyota Camry Hybrid. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, everyone. So I hope I didn't miss any updates and new releases in that lineup that I just told you guys about. Um, maybe I did. If I did, leave it down in the comments below. But I think I covered it all. Um, so where am I going with this? We are approaching midway through the year. We're into the second quarter of the year. 2025 model years generally start coming out in the fall, late fall, early fall, early winter of that year. So, so that puts us about five months away, give or take, from when we should start to see some type of 2025 models start landing, whether it's the Highlanders, whether it's the Corollas, the RAV4s, and so on. And we haven't heard anything yet about 2025 redesign on the RAV4, which leaves me to believe that perhaps Toyota is going to push this one a little bit further out into the 2026, just because there's been so much going on already. And I kind of don't see why they wouldn't wait another year, another model year for the 2026 to be the year for the redesign Toyota RAV4. Let me know what you think about that and the possibility that it can very well be true because like I said, we're into the middle of April right now and we haven't heard anything yet about a redesign for the RAV4 and we heard it on a lot of other vehicles, guys. We've heard it on the 4Runner. We've heard it on the Camry. Camry, we learned about this a while ago, back in the fall, if I'm not mistaken, of 2023 is when we learned about the Camry 2025. It was quite a big adjustment for us because we just started receiving 2024s. Um, so what's up? What's going on for 2025 RAV4? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Is it going to be the same model year? Is it going to be the new next generation? I don't think so, guys. I'm starting to lean towards more and more that we're going to see a new generation for 2026, not for 2025. And all the indications are pointing in that way. I'm not giving you guys any confirmed news at all. Nothing's been officially told to us or told to the public with regards to a redesign or not on the RAV4. But... Fingers are suggesting and pointing that we're going to have to wait a little bit longer to say redesigned Toyota RAV4. Now, that's not all bad news if it does happen because the RAV4 current generation has been going very strong, uh, especially in the past couple of years with hybrid powertrain systems taking off. And the hybrid and non-hybrid Toyota RAV4s did get a little bit of a minor refresh in 2022 with the change of some of the grill design and headlamp design it got a little bit of an update there so it's not too much of a bad news story if we have to wait another year 
for the redesigned Toyota RAV4 to come. Look how long the Toyota Tacoma was standing with the current generation. Look how long the Toyota 4Runner was standing with that generation. The Toyota Sequoia, even the current non-grand Toyota Highlander has been out since I believe 2019 or 2020. So it's time also for that one to start seeing some kind of redesign and change. By the way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put a video out sometime soon confirming all of the models that are coming to us that are gonna be brand new, that are gonna be redesigned. And we're gonna talk about some of my predictions and my suggestions for I think what might happen for 2025 and 2026 in terms of redesign and new models in the Toyota lineup and in the Toyota world. So stay tuned to the channel. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and review and this discussion. I want you to let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it going to be the new body for 2025? Is Toyota going to hold out on us a little bit longer until 2026 for the redesign and new body? I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, I've been with Toyota now for 16 years. I can understand and see trends. And I just think it's a little bit late into the model year for us to not hear or have any official news and updates for your redesign yet on the RAV4. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about that and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.